Greetings and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted, so I figured I'd get on here and give everybody an update. As you can see, I'm at Gas Pump Ranch. I've been loading gas pumps since this morning, and I'll go around the trailer here and give you a glimpse of what I'm taking to next weekend's two events. Here in Southern California, we're going to have two events. One is a Southern California Gas and Oil Swap Meet and Advertising Show. And the second is a Pomona Automotive Swap Meet and Show, which is Southern California's largest automotive parts related swap meet and car show. Stay tuned to my channel and let's do a walk around of what I've loaded so far. All right, the first pump here on the corner, right rear corner of the trailer, this is a Martin Schwartz Model 80. This particular one is the Cyclops version. It has the Cyclass in the top above the face. Now, most of these had the Cyclass right where it says M&S. This one happens to have the tall base, so it's pretty towering at about six foot tall. Most of these Cyclops pumps are found in the Midwest, not out here in California. I think this one came from Kansas. Okay, what we have here is a Bennett Model 541. These were produced in the late 30s into the 40s. These are very desirable, and let me show you why. Okay, taking a closer look right off the bat, it's the body style that makes this particular pump so desirable to the collecting hobbyist. The hips are well shaped all the way down to the bottom. This one still has a lot of original paint peeling, which is actually quite popular these days. People will buy a pump like this, they'll put in advertising glass. Notice this is missing some advertising glass, but they sell it. There's several vendors selling it to, so you can complete the pump and really make it look nice. Next to it, this one is slightly newer. This is a model 646 Bennett. Out here in California, most of these were branded Richfield. Notice this has original Richfield ethyl advertising glass still in it. Those are the original Richfield colors, usually yellow and blue. So this pump was originally a Richfield pump, but obviously it's been painted over who knows how many times. But they're kind of a nice looking pump. They stand tall like the 541, six foot tall. You add a globe to it and it's about seven, maybe seven and a half tall. Here we have a 50, 1950s Bennett 966. This pump actually came out of Texas. On my last road trip, I decided to let it go to a new home. Bennett pumps are nice because they have more of a rounded style to them compared to Tokheim, which is more square looking. This is a Tokai Model 39, sort of the gas pump staple in the industry back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. I think more of these were produced than any other pump. This particular one is an early model with the four add glass window cutouts. Here we have a Wayne 70 with original Union 
add glass. Notice the blue paint. Union often used blue and white back in the 40s and 50s. pump needs a little TLC but overall it's not all that bad here we have a Gilbarco this was also originally a Union pump as you can see the blue paint and the white doors now what we have here is a Wayne model 505. A lot of people say, oh, that's a 60s pump. Well, actually, it's not a 60s pump. These came out in the late 50s. This one's nice because it has original mobile ad glass on both sides. It has this stainless steel door, which actually gives it kind of a nice look, a nice transition between the bottom and the painted top. This one has an original porcelain mobile regular pump plate it's in pretty nice shape that goes with the pump here we have another bennett pump is a 300 series notice the aluminum faces instead of porcelain faces this one has a kind of a unique door latching system uh, different than the 541 model that you see over here behind it Okay, I'm going to continue to load. I've got this Tokai Model 300 that will be available at the swap meet events. This is a nice, clean 50s pump with original decals. I do have a nice reproduction 76 globe that I'm going to mount on this once I get down to the show. I think that'll make it basically pop and look a little nicer overall. This is a repurposed wheelchair handicap lift that I bought from a gentleman in Los Angeles, I'm gonna say about five years ago, and I've done nothing to it. I mounted it on the trailer. I had a friend help me wire it because we didn't have a schematic. It was missing the, the controls, but we were able to get it wired and functional about five years ago, and it still to this day works flawlessly. It's 12 volt electric hydraulic effortless loading pumps it could be anywhere from 200 pounds up to about I think eight or nine hundred is the capacity Thank you everybody for watching another one of my videos. I appreciate you viewing. If you like gas pumps, old cars, advertising signs, oil cans, anything petrol related, if it runs on petrol, dispenses petrol, or advertises petrol, petrol media possibly could be the channel for you. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the algorithms of YouTube and they will suggest it more to new viewers.
my heartfelt thanks goes to the 7,000 plus subscribers that have subscribed to this channel. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support over the years. If you're not yet a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button if you like this video content. Hit the notifications icon, that way you'll be notified when the next video is released. Take care everybody, from Gas Pump Rob Petrol Media.